Hey yo, I'm back like I never left. Forever fresh in the seven day. Them niggas do it for clout and for presidents. That's why I packed it up and took the severance. You know, never roll with an ego. Ego under the Pico. Hold up. Feet on, to feet on. The glowers, the knowers, the shiners, the showers, the non stagnant and the growers. It's the re emergence from behind the curtains. What's really good, ladies and gentlemen? It's the OG Boric with Don Dada. Enough said. Jumping straight into it. I'm gonna be on this shit all week. Dolo muffins are super busy. I hate the whole stream yard thing, so that leaves Rob out, fortunately. So, me, I'm doing like five topics this week. I'm gonna hit you all off the head. Uh, but to start MLW, I have to say this first and foremost because. Muffins is super excited about T.R. James, and he wanted to make it official that she is uh, Muffins, uh, a certified snack, right? Like Muffins approved. I think that's how he would have said it if he would have been on here. She's a certified snack. Muffins approved. Now, it is the debut of T.R. James. We're super excited. We've been waiting for this for a long time. They threw Becca in her way, so we were kind of like, shit. Becca's on a serious wave right now. She's dominating. She's killing it. But I got to give T.R. James mad credit. Because as much as I was wondering how can she get this crowd attention and all that. Like she is really comfortable. Well she is ready for prime time. She is ready to be on that stage. She took it to Becca. Uh, we were in the chat. We were hoping this wasn't a squash. Because of how intense Becca has been leading up to getting an opportunity at Del Miex. So, like, what was this going to mean for T.R. James? T.R. James was not having none of that shit. She was like, you might be, you know, the girl in here and getting a number one title, title shot, but I'm going to put the work in. And T.R. James took it to her. Like, this was a damn good match. This was an amazing debut. This You've seen so much upside and potential out of T.R. James that if you were not a fan or if she was very new to you, you sat back and was like, man, I really like what this girl's going to bring to MLW, right? She has a certain, I want to say a style or, or a caliber where you go back and go, damn, she's official, right? Like, So we're all excited here at Urban Wrestling Network to see what T.R. James' career is going to look like in MLW. <laughs> we personally would love to see her in Bumai Fight Club. Will it happen? I don't know. But we will, you know, I, I maybe we'll throw this out there. We got to show this to the big homie, Alex Kane. Uh, we did kind of ask him on the interview the last time we did, you know, who would be. And, and you know, he won a specific type of, of, of athlete. And I think uh, T.R. James checks all the boxes. Does that mean it checks the box for him? Hell no, it's the king right there. Whatever, whatever Alex Kane is, wants is what Alex Kane gets. That's the kind of caliber he's at right now, right? Like, I'm just a motherfucking podcast. I got no saying shit. But I really love what T.R. James is going to be. Like, I, I, it's crazy to say what she's going to be, especially in wrestling, but you can't stop something like this. This is just pure talent. You know what I'm saying? You can't slow that down. You got to let it go. Just let her rip. Do what she's going to do. Because that's the kind of talent she is. Now, as much as I enjoyed the show, right? We were talking to chat. Oh, I like this. I like that. This was great. Then the Microman stuff came up. And you're kind of like, oh, here we go. This is the ending. Thank God, no. Right? Alex Kane, our champion. The champion. The champion. Does a press conference, murders it. Does what Alex Kane does at this point. I don't even think we should have to sit back here and say that because anytime he's on, it's straight gold, right? That's just the way it is. Uh, for some reason, this bozo, the Florida Fat Joe, he comes in and he's like, oh, no, 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 with his whole goofy ass voice and all that shit. Yo, MSO, do yourself a favor, dude. Don't ever try to talk with, with fucking Alex Kane. Are you crazy? Like, step your game up before you even try to box with the God. You understand what I'm saying? So, he gets shook because, you know, Alex Kane flexes on him. Like, and he even tells him, yo, Florida Fat Joe, lean back. Bop. You know, and he's, oh, my God. You know, because he's a wimp. You know what I'm saying? MSL, you know, you cowered away. Good weasel stuff. I guess that's the lane you're going with. But Alex Kane saved the show. 
because it was such a great show. Then you had that main event where you're like, oh, man, this is going to kill the, the wave to the next show. You had a brawl at the end, which I always like brawls. You know, Queens, New York, you know, people bang out. I, I like that shit. But T.R. James, Alex Kane, great uh, tone setters. You know what I'm saying? So salute to everything that I see that feels like the writing is on the wall with MLW. T.R. James, once again, first and foremost, I should have said that earlier, welcome to MLW, congratulations on your debut, you look absolutely amazing, salute, 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 deuces to my fans and friends and all that good shit, I'm out. Oh, before I bounce, I shouldn't have even said that, before I bounce, I'm starting a new project, I'll send a video right after this, because, listen, follow it, it's at G-H-O-S-T-3 F. A C E uh, underscore spirits. So it's Ghostface with the three spirits. Cause the channel played a boom before the slaughter. You better fire up the MPs and mini controllers. Set the standard for the slums. Red rum, your edge rum. This Puerto Rican top ain't a warrior. You wanna just duck when my spears come. See low slips, sink ships, Titanic ice and shit. I'm chopping heads off, send the foot as the kick. The circle, circle, your set. My ninja scream a raise. The nigga circle so late. Your ninja's been naive, bitch. I'm the crown prince like Mohammed fucking Ben Aif. I've been a boss.